What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it is snowing. So today we have on the radar about six to nine inches. It is just after midnight and they say it is gonna go until about 6 p.m. So we're looking at about 18 hours of work here. I am about to hop in my truck. It is warmed up for me already, ready to go. So I'm gonna head out to my route and probably scrape it once because there is a nice coating down right now. And then we will hang out for a little bit until some more snow builds up. But let me hop in the truck and get out to my route and I will catch up with you guys when I'm out there. All right guys, so the roads are covered. I have gone through about a quarter of my route, give or take, and I'm just scraping it off. I went down that road already. So I'm just gonna go through and scrape everything off and then we will hang out and wait for a little bit more snow to build up because you don't want to just sit here and scrape and scrape and scrape you're just going to do more damage to your plow than you are good there's really no reason to just be non-stop you want to let it build up and then go clear and then let it build up and clear over and over basically it really depends on how much snow you're getting but we're on the radar, it's looking like we're getting between six and nine inches. So we will let this build up for quite some time. And then come back out usually every like two inches or so. It really depends on how fast it's snowing because you could get through your route and then the beginning of your route might have a little bit over an inch already so at that point you kind of just keep going but it chokes beeping at me again but that is that is a different beep but so with it being such a long storm this one it's like 18 hours they're saying so divide divide nine inches on the high end by 18 hours that's an inch every two hours so it doesn't really take two hours for me to get through my route so I'll have a little bit of downtime in between and stuff Alright guys, so I am back at my shop here. They are pulling one truck out, so not really sure what's up with it. Hopefully nothing too crazy, but since they're pulling it out, I'm assuming that whatever it was, they got it fixed. But we're all just hanging out now. Gonna relax for a bit. Might try and kick back and get a little power nap in while the snow falls. Everybody went through their route and did one scrape basically and cleared all the the build up off so we're gonna let it snow for a little bit and then once there is an inch or two we'll head back out so i will catch back up with you guys in a little bit all right guys so it is about 5 30 in the morning now we all just 
hung out in the shop for a little bit and then I came and sat in my truck. I tried getting a little power nap in, but that didn't happen. Obviously, I'm limited here. Can't put my seat back. So I tried to sleep, but no luck. But anyway, there is about an inch or two on the ground and I'm gonna head out and clear my route once more before the morning traffic heads out. Hopefully not too many people decide to travel today. There's gonna be snow all day. It says that the snow is ending around 6 p.m. tonight, so about another 12 hours of this. But I'm gonna head to my route and clear it. And then if the snow keeps coming down like this, then I'll probably clear it and then come back here and just rest again. guys so it is about 10 a.m. now I think we've gotten about four inches maybe five not that much but me and Rodrigo are on our way to the cemetery that we do we all just had breakfast at a local bagel shop and there is a burial at the cemetery at like 1130 so me and him are on our way there to make sure that the road is all blacktop and they won't have any issues getting that done. So I just scraped the whole upper section. Rodrigo is doing the lower section. I'm gonna throw some salt down on here because the road is still a little covered. It's got some hard pack on it. And I'm also gonna flip my liquid on because the temperatures are very low today. So that will coat my salt with liquid and it'll just it should help melt all this no issue but I, I, I don't know if you can see in the mirror behind me you should be able to 
This is the salt coming down. So basically I'm just gonna jog around here and get this whole place salted nice and hopefully it'll melt off. We'll obviously come back at the end of the storm and check it again. But if the snow continues to stay like this, there should be uh, no reason it won't be looking good later. So I will check back up with you guys when I'm done. All right guys, so that is pretty much it. I am putting a little bit down right now, a little bit more salt as I pull out of here. And that will be it for now. So I am going to head back to my shop and we're just going to hang out there and see what happens with the snow because there's not enough to plow and you don't want to go out and do your final pass right now before you know that it is completely done. Look at it. I hate people like this. Why are you snow blowing into the road and you're waving at me? Good thing this isn't my road to plow, this is a county road. But PSA, if you're clearing your driveway, throw it into your yard. Don't throw it back into the road that just got plowed. Also, another PSA while we're at it, if you live probably any state that gets snow, there's probably a snow ordinance and you're probably not allowed to park on the street during the winter or at least at night during the winter so if you are a person that tends to park on the street please don't do that during the winter it just makes our job that much harder and also when you have a wind plow like I do and it is down on the ground you can't really see it so you're kind of just guessing and if my wind plow hits your car while you're parked on the street you're at fault, not me. So it would suck for both of us, but really your insurance company is gonna be mad at you. And that's how it goes. So just park in your driveway, clear your snow from your driveway into your yard. Everybody scratch each other's back and it'll make everybody's day a lot easier. But that's all I have for now. I will catch back up with you guys when we are heading back out later for our hopefully final final clearing of our routes all right guys so slight change of plans I just spoke to my father according to news 12 this storm is gonna be out of here let's see what time is it it is 11 a.m. it's gonna be out of here by 2 but it's really just lingering right now they're saying maybe maybe half an inch more so he wants us to go out and scrape our routes and then we're just gonna hang out and see what happens and then around two o'clock we will head out and if we have to scrape it again we'll scrape it if not we'll just salt it but it is gonna be absolutely freezing tonight so we have to really make sure that we get a good amount of salt down i think for the next like two days the high is like in the 20s so it's gonna be cold let's go all right guys so i am back at the beginning of my route I went through and scraped everything and I put salt down on some of the hills and whatnot but of course it is still snowing so my father was wrong with the timing that he thought it was gonna end so hopefully we're not doing this for nothing because I am exhausted and I would like to go home it is it is almost 1 30 now so I left my house uh, a little bit after 11 last night so we're at like uh, 14 hours or so, but hopefully it'll taper off soon and what we do now will melt everything. But I'm about to run through here and 
put as much salt down as I can. If I run out, I'm going to go get more and really just cover this place in salt. So hopefully it'll melt off all this hard pack that we have here. All right, guys. So I got my truck loaded up with salt and I am on my way back out. I had to climb on top of my truck because a lot of my salt was frozen. It became basically like a rock. So that's kind of what happens when salt gets wet. It'll clump up and it makes sense because I felt like I ran out of salt quicker than normal. And that's because I have a ton of solid chunks that aren't getting spread. So I climbed up there and I threw them all off. I, there are some chunks down in the sander. So hopefully that doesn't affect the spread, but I'm going to go out and scrape my route and salt it real quick. I'm probably not going to record anything here, but I just want to get it done because it is, let's see what time it is now. It's now 3.07. So it's getting pretty late and I just want to get it done and get out of here. So I will do this and then I'm going to catch back up with you guys when I'm done. All right, guys. So we are parked back here at my shop. Unfortunately, the frozen salt ended up screwing me up a bit. I went out, scraped my roads, went to salt, and then I noticed that the salt wasn't coming out very good. So I was getting a very uneven spread. And I kept checking this and there was little chunks right here. So I'd, I would lift this up and grab the trunk and throw it out and then it would start to spread right again. And then eventually it got to the point where there's big chunks up in there. And they just, all that does is prevent the salt from coming out. So luckily we have six guys out here with salters and they were able to come and salt my route for me. I scraped everything and then they came and salted it, but it is absolutely freezing out. So I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.